Hi everyone! I am filming this on a Monday instead of a Sunday like normal because I did film it yesterday and guess what happened? My microphone didn't work so it was just, you know, several minutes of me doing this. Which some people would probably say is more entertaining than my usual content, but you know. Anyway, my point is, me having to film on a different day means that my routine is all out of whack. And I have been thinking a lot about routine lately. I've been thinking a lot about whether I'm a creature of habit or whether I am somebody who deviates from the routine and likes to do things just impulsively. Lots of us have a routine of some sort, even if it's something as simple as just having to get out of bed at a certain time in the week because we have work to go to. Routines get drummed into us from a really early age too. I mean, if you think about babies, they quite often have a routine for their feeding or their sleeping times. And then those routines stay with us the older we get. When we go to primary school, we know what time break time is and we know that we have the routine of just going to school Monday to Friday. And then once you get a little bit older and you start working out a little bit more about routines, we know what lessons we have on certain days and that can come in useful. Ready for school. Oh, hang on. It's a Wednesday. Double maths. Mum, my tummy hurts. Not that I ever did that, obviously. I do find having a routine is really useful. As I've mentioned on this channel before, I have a habit of procrastinating and therefore having some kind of routine to stick to does keep me on track most of the time. And a routine came in especially helpful last year at the start of the pandemic when I was furloughed from my day job and suddenly I was at home all the time because I had this letter telling me I was vulnerable and I had to shield. I was suddenly in this world of, oh, I have literally no way of filling my days because I can't go anywhere or do anything. So I needed a routine to stop me going completely insane. Having that routine meant that I cut down the amount of time I spent sitting around moping over the people I missed and I spent time actually doing productive things. I made sure that each day was a little bit different so I didn't go completely balmy. So for example, Wednesday was my study day and Friday was the day that I tidied my bedroom and made my bed. Having that routine really did genuinely help me at a time that was incredibly scary and weird and kind of sad. So I still stick to elements of that routine even now. For example, Friday is still the day that I tidy my room and make my bed most of the time. Because that's the thing about routines. They're great as long as they're not too rigid. Oh. Oh, that's my toilet break alarm. I don't really need the toilet right now, but if I don't go, he'll mess up my routine. I guess I'll fill up the tank. As soon as a routine becomes too rigid, too firmly set in stone, it starts to go from being helpful to being incredibly stifling. For example, as the pandemic started to ease a little bit and lockdown restrictions were lifted, I was definitely enjoying my newfound freedom so much that bits of my routine went by the by. Hello? Do I want to meet you in the park for a socially distanced picnic? Today is the day I normally empty the airing cupboard, but to hell with it, yeah! And that's the thing, as much as I really do genuinely find routines helpful, and in fact I probably do need one to help me get out of bed in the mornings and do the things I actually should be doing, I have definitely got an impulsive side. I really like the adventure of getting up in the morning and thinking, I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna get in the car and just go for a drive, or I'm gonna meet up with somebody that I've not seen in ages. I mean, you know, 
in non-pandemic times. There's something really exciting about just making a spur of the moment decision. Whether it's something as simple as waking up in the morning with an urge to bake a cake, or just a decision to go on an impromptu lunch out or dinner out somewhere, yes, a lot of my spur of the moment decisions are about food, don't judge me. I do like feeling like life doesn't have to be ordered all of the time. You can just break the mold and have a bit of an adventure. That said, I've never gone quite to an extreme level of impulsiveness. Okay, I am gonna drive to the nearest airport, I am gonna buy a ticket to anywhere, and I am gonna go abroad on my own. I don't care where I go. It might be sunny, but it might be cold. Who knows? Who cares? I've certainly had impulsive day trips out and sometimes impulsive weekends away where I've just messaged a friend and been like, are you doing anything? Should we go somewhere this weekend? It's a cliche to say it, but life is very short and it's too short, if you ask me, not to have the odd adventure from time to time. So am I a creature of habit or am I impulsive? I guess what I'm saying is that I'm somebody who needs a routine to make me do the things I need to do, but I've also got kind of a childlike sense of getting bored with that routine every now and then and needing to do something fun and exciting instead. I suppose that means I'm somewhere in the middle. Where are you? Are you a creature of habit or are you impulsive or are you also somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can click on my floaty head if you would like to subscribe. And last week's video is over there. I am going to go and edit this video, even though today is a Monday and I normally do that on a Sunday and I'm all out of whack. <sighs> I will talk to you all next week. Take care. Bye.